Hey, this is Grant Finley Sheris, CEO of Parkbench.com, coming with a cool video on the comparison between lead generation and Parkbench. This is something I see a lot of because in this new age of online, we got in the states Zillow and Trulia, Tiger Leads, Realtor.com, Real, and then in Canada you got Realtor.ca. You got Bomb Street, Boom Street, whatever. There are so many lead generation things out there. People are doing leads on Facebook. Uh, people are doing stuff through Google to try and collect leads for their business. And we could get into an entire conversation about the negative effects that lead generation does, I think, for your personality, because you're not out there going to practice your social skills. Um, then we could get into the fact that uh, you, you know, you're treated as a commodity and you're hoping and praying. Uh, but I just want to, for, for clients, you lose control, and as soon as you stop spending money, you stop getting any benefit, you're on a treadmill this whole time. You know, I could get into talking a whole lot about that. However, I want to focus on the numbers, okay, because the, the qualitative you know, evidence of whether this thing is good or bad uh, doesn't pale in comparison to just the black and white numbers, okay? If lead generation was so good, then the numbers that talk about what you have to pay to get a deal would be better than Park Bench, okay? Would be better than our relationship and referral-based system, okay? So I'm going to focus on the numbers today. I'm going to show you my screen. I just did another video about print marketing versus Park Bench, which no matter how I played around with the numbers, Park Bench always ends up on top. Okay, so if you're considering doing Park Bench and you're looking at where you're going to spend your money, you need to take a look at this. If you're already a client and you're thinking about you know where to spend your money and your time, you take a look at this. I want you to put more of your time into building relationships and meeting people and building your spheres. And if you're doing lead generation or you're doing, you know, I want to pull you away from that because the numbers show that it's just flat out better to do park bench uh, than your lead generation. So let me share my screen. Okay. The numbers don't lie. Okay. You'll see the numbers I put up. Okay. Um, and and we'll walk you through why lead generation is not all it's cracked up to be. Obviously, the people who sell it to you will make it sound great. Obviously, your brokerage, when, when they know that when you advertise online, you're promoting their brand, they're going to say, go for it. But at the end of the day, it's all about your profit. It's all about your business. It's all about you having fun, you making money, not only in the short term, but in the long term. Okay, so again, if you aren't in real estate to make a career out of this, you know, you can not listen to this. You can change, you know, videos, okay? But if you are in real estate, you want to build, you're looking at, you know, trying to make sure that you have a better business next year than you do this year and in three years versus two years and in 10 years versus five years, okay? If you're playing the long game, then you're definitely going to want to take a look at this and make sure you understand and grasp this uh, because I am potentially going to change the game and change your business and therefore change the income that you have for your life and your family. Okay, so take a look at this. Here's the lead gen model. Hopefully, you only pay when someone sends you a lead. If you're doing a lead generation model where you're paying monthly and you don't even know how many leads you're going to get, uh, you need to change right away, okay? You should only be paying. The whole point of this lead gen game, um, and, and again, like I'm not against not doing it. I'm just saying it's not the best way to do it. Um, if you have the extra money to spend, hey, you want to make a big push, hey, why not, you know? But but um, it's just not as good as, as, as us, all right? So here are the numbers, all right? Now, I put $10 a lead. Now, it's just to show that no matter what happens, we are still the best. I don't think anyone's paying $10 a lead. I think people are paying $25 a lead, $50 a lead, $100 a lead. Obviously, there's different quality of leads out there. And the higher quality you're spending, the more money 
that's going to cost you, um, and and there's different equations there, right? Okay, it's it's just worse than than this. Okay, so let's say you get twenty five dollars a lead, all right, and that's how much on average you're paying per lead. Okay, so when I've talked to realtors to do this, there it takes about ten leads to get one appointment. Okay, because a whole bunch of those leads are junk. Okay, then a bunch of them don't pick up, and then one of them actually picks up, and one of them you actually get an appointment with. Okay, which means the cost per appointment is 25 times 10, 250 bucks per appointment. Now, this person was searching online. Okay, so they're very interested in buying or selling a home. So your close ratio might actually be pretty good. Okay, so I put 50% here. All right, now I know people who are doing 10%, 20%. 25%, 33%, okay? But I want to be favorable and say one out of two, you close. Because I'm still going to be better than this. Again, I talked about this in, the, in the, another video. One of the biggest problems with advertising and marketing is business is becoming is coming before the relationship. We all know referrals are the best. And when you meet with a referral, your close ratio is 75%, 80%, or 100%. Because why? The one main reason why is because the relationship has come before business. And this is why lead generation and print marketing and other forms of advertising and marketing are just getting worse and worse and worse because consumers now want a relationship. They want to feel good. They want to feel safe. They want to feel trust. They want to feel confidence. They want to feel you're competent. And you just can't really do that when someone calls you up and says, hey, I saw you were searching on Zillow or Realtor.ca and I got your name and email and uh, I'd like to you know, talk to you about it and come over and see if you want to do a home evaluation or I want to talk about buying a home. All right, you are a commodity. You're just a person, right? You're not anything special, okay? But even still, I'm giving you 50% close ratio, which means out of it takes two appointments to get one deal, which means the cost per deal is 250 bucks times two appointments to get a deal, okay? Which is $500 per deal, which means you need to buy 20 leads in order to to get two deals and the reason why this 20 leads is important is because you got to start factoring the time everyone thinks oh I'll just buy leads and get deals and oh I don't want to build relationships that takes too much time um, well whether you're either oblivious or you haven't done it yet because you have to go sift through all these leads okay and in a experienced sales force who does hundreds of calls a day that is their job they will average about 100 calls a day, and that's a good deal. I, if you've ever talked to salespeople before, uh, people are doing 30 calls a day, 50 calls a day, 75 calls a day in an eight-hour day. So if you can average five minutes per calling lead, okay, that's 12 per hour. Okay, that's 100 in an eight-hour shift straight, okay? Then you're doing good. So I'm going to say you're good. I'm going to say you, you can bang out those phone calls. You can uh, get it all done, make your notes, sift them, and get to the next one, which means to go through those 20 leads, you need to spend 100 minutes, which is, okay, 1.6 hours. Okay, now I factor in your time because you want to know how much time it spends, okay? You got to make all those calls, then you got to go to the meeting. You've got one meeting, okay? You've got two meetings for half an hour. So you got an hour of meeting time. So you got an hour of meeting time plus 1.6 hours of calling to get the meeting. And again, I've talked to realtors where these numbers are up where they're like, I'm doing about three hours of calling to get one appointment and I'm doing about it takes four appointments to get one deal, so I'm doing 12 hours of calling to get a deal, 12 hours of work, okay? So this is favorable, and I know it, but I still want to show people, even in this favorable model, lead generation just sucks, okay, uh, financially. It's just, a, it's just not a good model. Print marketing is even better than this. Um, so take a look at this, okay? You value yourself at $100 an hour. You do 2.6 hours of total work. All right, there's your cost. 
Okay, now you've got a total cost. You've got the cost for the leads and you've got your time that you're spending, which means here's how much cost you're spending a deal. And here is one of the biggest reasons why lead generation sucks um, is because there is no future. You are on a treadmill. You spend more money, you get more deals. Now forget about talking about profit and bottom line, which is really important because you have a business. You should be thinking about profit and bottom line. But at the end of the day, the biggest issue with lead gen is as soon as you stop spending money, you got nothing. Absolutely nothing. So your total deals at the end is just that one. And so the cost at the end of the day of all the deals that you get from that campaign is one. Okay. And so the total cost per deal, again, you can do this. And, and again, I know I'm being favorable because people spend money on lead gen and, and, and say I got a negative return. And if, hey, if I was spending $766 and was able to get a deal and consistently do that over and over and over again, I would even freaking stop park bench and go into real estate and go spend a bunch of money. Now I would do park bench. But even still, I just wanted to show you that in this favorable model, you're spending 766 bucks, okay, for a deal. So let's move over to Park Bench, okay? And again, one of the reasons why this works so well, just to give you a quick synopsis, is we build a website, we manage it, we maintain it, we create this item of value so that all our clients do, all our realtors do, is go meet people. Because if you are a relationship and referral-based person, if you thrive in front of people, if you have fun in, fun, in, uh, fun in front of people, you know that all you want to do is go meet people. That's all you want to do. And you know that you're going to make lots of money doing it. And you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. And you just want to see your calendar full of prospecting meetings and client meetings. And then you have your life. Okay? So... Our websites, depending on the population of your area, range anywhere from thirty, you know, six hundred to as high as six thousand dollars right now. Okay, and the prices are going up. So if you're listening to this, you know the prices may have changed. Um, a bit, but uh, because as we get more results and we get bigger, of course, I'm going to earn and deserve a higher price. Uh, right now, we're basing it pretty much on cost. All right, it costs us to build it, to manage it, to maintain it, to do customer service for you, the users, the businesses, to send you window stickers to, for people to put up. We book your first meetings for you. We train you on how to be better in meetings, and how to build relationships faster, and how to build a sphere of influence, and how to get referrals, because there is a science behind it, okay? My background, I did uh, kinesiology, so I studied neuroscience, I studied psychology, and um, it was a hell, huge help for me in building my business, because I know that I want to condition people to come to me for questions. I want to condition people to refer. And there are certain things that I teach my realtors how to do, so that when they're in meetings, they're conditioning that person to forever come to them for questions and start getting into the habit of giving them referrals. Okay? And and the other person on the other side of the table, it's not some trickery. It's not some manipulation. They're feeling good about it. They're loving it. Okay? So $4,800 is a high-end website. It's a big site. But I want to show you that despite a high-end website, I'm still going to come out on top and buy a long shot. Okay, so if you divide up 4800 over 12 months, you're going to get $400 a month. Okay, this is the cost per month for a nice, really big territory. Now, I wanted to compare how many deals people are getting, and I wanted to put a number in here so that people are for sure getting a deal. As this is the activity that if a realtor in my system wanted to get a deal a month, Okay, based on a 50% close ratio and a turnover of seven years. Okay, that is the average. And I'll play around with the numbers at the end to show what it's like when those numbers are different. But if you did four meetings a week, 16 meetings a month, okay, this is four half an hour meetings. Imagine just putting four things in your calendar. And if you don't think you can do it, I don't want to work with you because the people who I want to work with are ones who are like, dude, I can do freaking 10 a week. If I can snap my fingers and in one minute get a meeting with a prospect, a meeting with a buyer and a seller, I will do 10 a week. All right. I got the time and I'm willing to cut things out of my schedule to go make the time. Okay. So they do this many meetings, which means from these 16, our model is not based on let's find buyers and sellers, like Lee Jen. Our model is based on let's go meet people because because of the law of turnover, people will be buying and selling. And so after all these meetings, 16 meetings with a turnover of seven years, 2.2 of those people okay, are going to be buying or selling at that moment.
And I teach my realtors how to find that out easily and quickly and make the person want to give you that information. Okay? And so when you look at the cost for the appointment, 40 bucks a month, 16 meetings, 25 bucks for the appointment. Okay? If you add the close ratio. Now, I know when people are in these meetings, the close ratio is going to be higher because what are you doing? You're getting to know them. You're getting to know where they live, what they do, what they need, what they like. You're giving them value. The person does not think you're talking about business at the moment because you're actually not. You're going to meet them to help them out, to get to know them, to give them value. And when you build a relationship, just like a referral, close ratios are much higher. And again, I know this is one of the power of our system is the fact that we have finally created a dynamic where you can cold prospect, but put a relationship before business and build a relationship easily and quickly before you talk about business. So business actually becomes much easier. But for argument's sake, I want to keep the close ratio the exact same, okay? Which means from that work per month, I am getting 1.1 deals, okay? Which means my cost to acquire a deal, 400 bucks, divided that many deals is 350 bucks. Okay, so the S, when you compare the cost per deal, okay, to each other, all right, without the time taking into consideration, we are higher. Now let's factor in time, because obviously that's a real thing. $100 an hour, okay, half an hour per meeting, which means for 16 meetings, you got eight hours of work, all right? So yeah. This is where the cost goes up because you have to spend time meeting people and you're going to meet lots of people. And so the total cost of the program, when you factor in what park bench costs as well as what your time costs, is higher than lead generation. And the total cost per deal now is higher than lead generation. And that's okay because of this. What I'm highlighting right here, this is the reason why park bench is the safest way to build a business it's the best way to build a business because you are setting yourself up for the future we grandfather everybody in so again depending on when you're listening to this video the prices may be higher but at every single point in time i will be grandfathering everybody in because i want people to see the potential in this not in year one although there is in year two in year three in year four in year ten when you are dominating your area because you know so many people, you, they like you, they trust you, they go, wow, you are the guy, you're the person that gives back to the community. Because what happens here is you have eight future deals because if you close 50% of the people that are turning over at that moment, what about the people that are not turning over at that moment? You are winning them over because they're going, wow, you're not like every other realtor. You actually are interested. You care. And I want to help you out. Okay? So this is what I'm going to do. All right? I'm going to keep you at the top of my mind. Stay in touch with me. I'm not turning over this year. I'm turning over next year or the year after. Or I'll keep you in touch. All right? And when I need a realtor, I'll let you know. And so the future deals, because of all the meetings that happen, are real. And when you factor in how many total deals you'll get from this campaign, the end cost doesn't compare to lead generation. It's just so much better because over time, the benefit of Park Bench gets better and better and better and better. And this doesn't even take into consideration the referrals that you get from the people that you meet, which you could obviously then get more deals immediately, not even just in the long term. Okay, so again, I get so excited about when people tell me they do lead generation because I can save you money, <laughs> I can help you have more fun, yeah, I can help you have more success. We're revolutionizing your business. This you is imagine. the real deal. And I will put on paper that I guarantee you follow my system, I will make you more money than you spend, or I will give it all back. I will put that in writing. And I don't know of any other company that does that because they don't believe in their thing as much as I do. And the reason why I do is because I did this. I did this for myself. I'm now doing it for others. And I get excited about helping more. And so if you do not are not a part of the Park Bench Network yet, email 
info at parkbench.com. Find out if your area is available. We're live across Canada, across the United States. We're growing rapidly. And like I said, the bigger we get, the more features we add because we're a, a growing organization. Our product continues to get better. Our brand continues to get better. Our SEO continues to get better. Our social media continues to get better. And you better believe I'm going to keep raising my prices to represent the value I am giving to my clients. And whenever you get in, you are locking that price in for life. So hopefully this video is helpful. Hopefully this helps give you some light as to why you should or should not do lead generation or if you do what you can expect and if you're thinking about park bench and you're thinking about either doing park bench or some other lead gen program hopefully these this video is clear so that you know what the right decision is take care and have yourself a great day and I hope to work with you and help your business grow